Hey guys, it's Chris. I'm here to film the queer version of the Rip It or Ship It tag. The Rip It or Ship It tag was created by Emma's Books. I'm going to link her channel below. I'm also going to link Bangity Bang's channel because the first time I saw this tag video was on his channel. And so you guys should go check both of them out. And the reason why mine is the queer version of the tag is because all the characters in this cop are males who land somewhere on the LGBTQ spectrum. Not L, but the that spectrum. They land somewhere on that queer spectrum is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, and so I'm going to pull two names out of the cup goblet thing that I got from my dollar store three years ago for Halloween, and I'm going to tell you if I'm going to rip it or ship it, if I'm going to ship the pairing or if I just don't like the pairing, essentially. Also, I totally realized that in theory, no one these by having these characters in this cup, that could be a spoiler enough, like, you no know, like one's character sexuality, but most of the characters in here, um, it's either their, you know, their sexuality is straight from the beginning, or their sexuality is so well known that it's okay that I, that they're in this cup. The only character in here who I think might be a spoiler is for the Percy Jackson and or Heroes of Olympic series, the queer character that comes up in that series. Um, so, and we can put a timestamp for when that pairing happens down below and when that pairing ends. But that really is the only way where it's a spoiler. Any other character who comes out later in a book, I didn't put them in the scuff for that reason. So, also, I think my shirt is very appropriate for the tag right now. Yeah. First two characters. Wallace Wells from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. And Wallace is Scott's roommate, if you guys have seen the movie. And we have Jonah from the Wanting, uh, the, the MM Romance Wanting by Piper Vaughn. I, yeah, no. Um, I, I, it's like, <laughs> I want Jonah to be with someone who's romantic and sweet and loving. I feel like, well, all of us and he would have some fun, but they wouldn't be the best couple. So we're going to rip that. Uh, two more. Come on, come on, come on. We got Tom Fairness from <laughs> Tom Fairness from Myth, the Misfit series, uh, the, the Misfit book by Garrett Lee. It's not a real series. And Aristotle from Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I'm not gonna ship that. There's a major age difference, and also just just would not work well at all. Do do do. I pulled up one name. I have. Billy Kaplan, a.k.a. Wiccan from The Young Avengers. And Neil McCormick from Mysterious Skin. No, no. Neil would be, being with a superhero would be a mess. Oh gosh, that would just not work well at all. First name up. We have Amal from the Epic Adventures of TJ and Amal webcomic. And Russell Middlebrook from Geography Club, which is probably... Okay, I know I was going to This guy. All right, so I'm thinking of an older Russell because there's six books in the series. I haven't really got the six book yet, but I'm like in book like three. And he ages up in each one. I'm thinking he would work a lot with Amal. Amal needs someone who would be compassionate to kind of some of his issues with his family. Russell would definitely do that. And also, Russell needs someone who won't hurt him if they do end up breaking up. And I feel like Amal would just handle it very maturely. As he is a mature character, um, this is definitely something I'd ship. Mm -hmm. We got... We got... What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I got two. I think I got two. I think I got two. Okay, there we go. We have Tom from here, and Toby from <laughs> Openly Straight, which is also lying around here somewhere. <laughs> Toby is interesting. He's kind of weird. He's very open. Tom is closeted at the beginning of his book. Very closeted. Um, I'm gonna go with no on this pairing. I just don't think Tom and Toby would work well at all. Not do that. Not put them in that situation. Perry Gorey from um, The Bone Garden by Clover Donovan. 
and Simon Spear from Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda. I'm thinking of a young Perry. So Perry from the Bone Garden and Simon. No, still can't do it. Still can't do it. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. It just doesn't work. Um. Ooh, we got the first Ethan. There are three Ethans in this cup. I don't know why Ethans are queer. But this guy's Ethan Elliott, and he is from Untouchable by S.A. Starsevac. I just recently read this book. Really, really great superhero little story. And we have Jerry from The Game Master of Somerville, which I don't think I've ever talked about on the channel, but I will now that I've realized that I have it. It's such a good story. Um, but James, Jerry is like a um, teen who solves some mysteries in his town of Somerville. Um, Elliot is a superhero in training. I think the two of them would actually be really cute. Uh, I think Jerry uh, needs someone who's not in the closet, and Ethan is never in the closet in his book, and I really like that about the book Untouchable. I think they'd actually work really well together. I'm going to ship that. Mm. We have... Ha! <laughs> ha! We have Ethan Drake. Uh, from Wicked by Clover Donovan. And Nico D'Angelo from the Percy Jackson Heroes of Olympus series. I don't think uh, Clover Richard has even read the Percy Jackson series, but I actually think I will ship this because Ethan and Nico, I think, would work really well together because they're so they're actually more different than people would actually think. Well, they both kind of dress kind of like darker and have kind of like a magic that might be a little bit scary, I think. But I think Ethan would just um, be able to help Nico come out of his shell a lot. And I think that would be great because Ethan's very straightforward. And I think Ethan's just a really great character who's very confident in himself. Um, even when all of this craziness is happening around him, I think Nico also has to deal with a lot of craziness and all this can push through. These are two characters that I'm definitely going to ship. So, yeah. Alright. I have Adante Quintana and Tiny Cooper from Will Grace, Will Grace, and Dante's from Arizona, Dante Discovery Secrets Universe. I'm gonna ship it. I like Dante a lot. He's very happy. But Dante and Ari are kind of like an OTP. But if I'm going to ship Tiny and Dante with someone else, I might, besides who they end up with, I might as well ship them with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and ship them together. Yeah, ship. Let's see what's true. We have TJ from the Less Than Epic Adventures of TJ and Amal. And do 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 do. Goran from Hero. No, uh, age gap, but also Goran's just like very different than Teach. Teach is kind of wild and kind of dangerous. I found that Goran's much more uh, put together, even though he's a lot younger than Teach is, and I just don't think that'll work at all. So. Okay, we have. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the cup. He's not supposed to be in the cup. <laughs> I took him out because I thought he was a spoiler. <laughs> Sam Dorsey from Sam and the Gay Popcorn series. And Kyle, a.k.a. Red Hot from the Young Protectors webcomic. And now I'm not going to ship this. I hate Sam Dorsey. And for many, many reasons, mostly the entirety of the second book of that series. Holy crap. <laughs> Next up we have Mark from 12 Long Months and Blue from Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I can't ship this. Blue and Simon are like OTP status. And even though I love Mark to death, he's the only thing that made me like that book. Like honestly. Um I couldn't see him working well with Blue. He's just they're just very, very different. On uh, but like Different's not a bad thing in a relationship. It's just like, I think, different stages of life um, completely. Although, I think they'd make good friends in theory. I think Blue would be a better friend to Mark from 12 Long Months than his friends in the actual book. But I'm gonna still pass on that. 
We've got Will Grayson. The gay Will Grayson from Will Grayson, Will Grayson and Max Bain. No, no, Will and Max don't work. No, no. Hello, Max. But Will and Max, I don't know. All right, we're going to get some age different gaps happening soon. Oh, Jake Thompson and Jordy. Uh, Jake Thompson's from the Misfits book by Garrett Lee, and Jordy is from uh, Becoming Chloe by Catherine Ron High, and I think I shipped this. What do you think about it? Jordy is sweet. He is determined. I think Jake would be totally cool with Jordy's so kind of relationship with Chloe, how, he, how their relationship is um, very close, and I think Jordy would also be very just kind of cool with Jake. Jake has um, Tourette syndrome, and so I feel like whoever's in a relationship with him might have to be able to know how to handle that, and I think Jordy would be able to handle that well, so I'm going to shut this. Also, my rip pile is freaking huge, I'm noticing right now, but to the life, I guess. Next up, we have Rafe from Openly Sweet. He's the main character of Openly Sweet, and... Cass Pearson, who is the last character from the Misfits book by Garrett Lee. I Cass would not put up for Rafe's mess in the at ever. Um But I don't think I just don't think it'll work. We, all of these are rips, you guys. This is really, really problematic. <laughs> Next up we have Aaron Soto with Ethan Poe. Um Yes, I want to ship this. Um, Ethan and Aaron both go through some strife within their family units and also with people around them in their towns. I think that these two would be really good for each other. And I'm also thinking Aaron Soto at a stage before the ending of the More Happy Than Not. But Aaron's also More Happy Than Not and the evolution of the power of the books, by the way. But Aaron's a great character. I think... Anything that will make him happy will make me happy. And so, if it's Ethan, absolutely. Because I didn't even like Ethan's final person. Also, the cup is empty. It's empty! I guess I finished. Wow. Alright, so that was ten ribs and seven chips. Um, not a lot of luck on my queer characters with the shipping. But that's okay. That's just because most of them are my from my OTPs, I think, to be honest, that's probably the problem. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever. But right now, I'm going to tag some people. I'm going to tag uh, Magical Molly, because I think you should use Peter Pan characters, because it would be funny. And Dynamic Dylan, because I think you should be use, use some manga characters, because I think it would be really cool. Uh, the Boy Who Cried Books, because he could probably do, a, Joseph could probably do a better queer version of this than I just did. Um, books and plays with Thomas and Jeremy because you could use Rocky Horror, which I didn't do and I wanted to. Um, and Richard Denny because I used two of your characters in this tag and I'm thinking about your books now because of it. Anyone else? I want to tag, oh, well, I've tagged a lot of guys on this one. Whoa, that doesn't happen ever. Um, and <laughs> I'm, next one, I'm also going to tag Neku the Book Lock and... I don't think Allison has done this, so I'm going to tag you to Allison. And that's going to be it for the tagging and this video. And it's hot, so I'm going to go turn on the air conditioner after I press the end button for this. Hope you guys are having a good reading month, and I will see you in my next video.